one of the common perceptions about a public adjuster is that they jack up claims and it's just going to affect our loss experience. So why would we want to do it? The insurance company will pay me. We know what limit we have on the building, etc. How do you how do you address that? Another good question. Um, we do get that a lot. You know, the purpose of having insurance and having the policy is to put you back the pre-loss condition. So if you're going to let the insurance company run the process, most of the time they're not going to put you back to pre-loss condition from our experience. So we just show them our, the best way to show them is to show them references of people we worked with, other, you know, institutional real estate players or just other, you know, real estate owners that we've worked with and say, how is the experience working with Craftsview? Like, did they put you back to pre-loss condition? I tell people all the time, we're not, you don't hire a public adjuster to get you 20, 30% more than what you're owed. We're only getting hired to get you back to pre-loss condition. So there, that is a misconception. And, you know, we just fight it with those real life examples. It makes sense. I'm an advocate of a public yeah. adjuster. I see the benefit. And sometimes we tell people don't hire us. It just depends on, you know, not always, don't take on every claim. It has to be specific. Obviously, usually it's a certain dollar amount, but sometimes it could be smaller dollar amount we're able to help them. Sometimes it's not complicated. Um, but the best time to hire a public adjuster is in, from the beginning, not like during the claim. We can't work on claims during the claim. We get calls all the time, but the best time is in the beginning, so we run the process and bring the insurance company, you know, through the loss.